Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn with Mighty Max. Just now the CS exams were completed and the next exams will be in the month of December. Company secretaryship is one of the prestigious study in the field of commerce. In this video, I am going to share a study timetable for CS executive exams December 2022. This timetable will be suitable for all kind of students who are preparing for CS executive exams, including working people, housewife, college students as well. If you spare your early morning time and evening times, you can make it easier to study with the help of this timetable. Because this timetable is entirely made on the basis one chapter a day. The exams will start usually by December 20 of every year. If we calculate, we will be having 185 days approximately from today. Let me take it as 180 days. Totally, we have 155 chapters in CS Executive Program. So practically, this timetable is possible. In the first module, we will be having 78 chapters and in the second module, we have 77 chapters. We need some days for revision and practice, right? So we need to allot few days for that too. Totally, we have 8 subjects in which 5 are law-based papers and 3 are practical papers. The law-based papers are JIGL, Company Law, SBEC, SLCM and EBCL. The practical papers are Tax Laws, CMA and FSM, where the second part of Financial and Strategic Management is a theoretical part, which comprises of 40 marks in the examination. We can't study all these papers at once. If we come as one by one subject at the end of the eighth one, we would be having forgot the first, second and the third paper. So it is important to split the subjects to study. I have made three batches of subjects, some combination of subjects to study in every batch. In the end of this video, I will tell about the books to study for CS exam. Don't forget to watch it. Now, I have divided the eight subjects into three parts. The first part, the first combination includes company law, which is a purely law based paper and very important one for CS2. The second one is CMA, which is a practical paper. And the third one is SBEC, which is also a law paper. I didn't make the combination of subjects on the basis of the subject order 1, 2, 3, JIGL, Company Law, SBEC, Tax Laws like that. But I made on the basis of the contents in the subject. I have placed Company Law in the combination 1 because we need to know some provisions in Company Law to study some concepts in other subjects. We all know that some subjects are interrelated in CS, right? Then for me, I wish to divide the three practical subjects tax laws, CMA and the FSM separately as one will not be confused with the another subject if we study it at once. And if we study the practical paper continuously and do the sums daily, we feel hectic and pressure. So I have included one practical subject in one combination. In the first one, I have included CMA with company law and SBC. I didn't combine the company law with tax laws because I don't want to add more burden in preparation by joining these two big and vast subjects. And I also want to give more focus on the company law subject in which we need to be strong. As a company secretary, we need to be cognized of the provisions of company law. Then I have included SBEC in the first combination because this paper includes some basic concepts in its part A. So I thought to learn these concepts first before going into the other subjects. Thus, the first combination includes company law, CMA and SBEC. Totally, we will be having 66 chapters in these three subjects. In company law, we have 23 chapters. In SBEC, we have 21 chapters. And in CMA, we have 22 chapters. Some chapters will be around 10 to 12 pages and some will be around 75 to 80 pages. Even some chapters will be divided into two parts like in SBEC third chapter, there are two parts. The first part is chartered documents of a company and the second part is alteration of chartered documents. Both will be around 70 to 75 pages totally. But the first chapter in SBEC is only 11 pages and the concepts are very simple compared with the third chapter of the SBEC paper. So the daily study plan for the entire six months of study timetable is purely based on the content, difficulty level, importance of concepts, mark weightage of each and every chapter and for practical papers i have considered the level of difficulty of practical sums under various headings like consolidation statements cost sums etc the second combination includes slcm tl and ebcl 
the first practical paper is tax laws and the two papers law papers are ebcl and slcm ebcl and slcm have some scoring parts in it for example in ebcl we have competition act which will be covering 25 marks in the examination in the slcm the part 2 comprises of 30 marks totally there are two chapters in slcm part 2 in tax loss gst is one of the easy scoring part in the third combination i have included the remaining two subjects that is jigl and fsm here fsm is a practical paper along with this i have added revision days for cma and the tax loss sums too let us now move into the timetable. Starting with the company law chapter 1, we will be studying 6 chapters in first week. At the end of every week, we will have one day for revision and test. You don't need to search too much for test questions. Just write book back questions for each chapter. In this timetable, I would like to tell that I have allocated certain time to give a simple read of each chapter in the previous day to know what, will be what we will be studying tomorrow. The main purpose for this read is to write the meaning of some complicated terms and words before going for a thorough study. In the module, we have lots of new terms, lots of new words. We need to understand its meaning and have to write with the help of dictionaries, legal dictionaries or Google. I personally recommend to underline the difficult terms and words and write it with the help of web search or legal dictionaries. We can also write it down while making the thorough studies. But using mobile phone during the time will divert our mind. We will be having lots of new words in the book. If we go for search every time while studying, it spoils our flow of study to write. So go for a quick study in the previous day before studying any chapter. Underline and write the meaning of technical words. It will also help you to grasp the concept of chapter before studying it thoroughly. For every Saturday, I have placed some huge and important chapters and for every Sunday, we will be having a small chapter with the revision and test of the chapters which we have studied for the entire week. I highly recommend to make a handwritten notes because it will help you to have a quick revision by every weekend and during examinations. Sometimes I would have allotted two chapters for one day because it would be small chapter. We will be covering the first combination of 66 chapters in 63 days as per the timetable and 3 days for revision with handwritten notes. Write down the sections in company law separately in a note or sheet, the formulas of CMA in a note or sheet and especially the sections in SBEC too. Just revise and recall it whenever you get free time. Now let me show you the timetable for CL, CMA and SBEC. It would be around 9 to 10 weeks for CL, CMA and SBEC. There are totally 66 chapters, right? In the first week, we will be studying 6 chapters. CL first two chapters, CMA first two chapters and SBC first two chapters. We will be having revision and test of all these chapters at the end of the week. I have included the number of days, dates, Saturday and Sunday, then the chapter names, chapter numbers, total number of pages for each and every chapter and then I have also mentioned the chapter to have a quick revision on that day which we will be giving a thorough study on the next day. Then for the second week, we will be studying around 5 chapters. Just take screenshots of it. Then in the third week, we will be studying around 9 chapters with revision and test. Now let me show you the timetable for the fourth week. We will be studying around 8 chapters. CL 9, 10, 11, SBEC 7, CMA 7, 8, 9, 10. Then for fifth week, we will be studying around 8 chapters. Just give importance to the CL chapter 13, introduction to MCA 21 and filing in XBRL. Then for sixth week, we will be studying around 7 chapters. Now we have came to the part 2 of CMA. In this I would like to tell that there are lots of questions, direct questions from the CMA book itself. For example, there is a question in the June 2022 examination. They have asked Indian accounting standard 33 deals with 
earnings per share, fair value measurement, value added statement, financial instrument presentation, which is the right answer. We will know that earning per share is the right answer because it is an heading in the 19th chapter of CMA. Okay. There are lots of direct questions from that. In the same chapter, in the previous page of this heading, there is a sum. The sum was directly given in the question paper from the textbook. Just the DPS was changed from 2 to 3 in the exam paper. So give more importance to the textbook. Then going for the 7th week, we'll be having around 8 chapters. And then going for the 8th week, we'll be having around 7 chapters. Now let us see the last 9th week for CLCMA and SBC. We'll be studying around 8 chapters in this week. Along with the revision of CL, CMA and SBEC at the weekend. This is the timetable for CL, CMA and SBEC. I have included the number of pages as per the new book. It will change according to the uh, printed date of the book. So refer your book but it is an approximate estimation. Then moving into the combination 2, I have given more focus on the tax laws. I have also combined two easy chapters of EBCL for one day. Totally we will have 57 chapters in the combination 2. We will be completing it in 54 days and will have a quick revision session of notes for 3 days. Give more importance to the competition act in EBCL since it covered 25 marks in the examination. Just one chapter, 25 marks. Then GST would be an easy scoring part in tax laws. In SLCM, foot and call option sums were asked in the June 2022 examination session in part 2. Just be strong with these kind of put and call option sums. We cannot expect anything to repeat but just be thorough with these kinds of sums. Then now let me show you the timetable for tax law, EBCL and SLCM for the first week that is the 10th week of overall timetable. We will be studying two chapters in tax laws. 3 chapters in EBCL and 1 chapter in SLCM. We will have a revision and test of all these chapters at the end of the week. Then for second week we will be studying 2 chapters in tax laws, 2 chapters in EBCL and 2 chapters in SLCM. At the end of the week we will not have the revision and the test session because I have included the 4th chapter of tax laws that is computation of income under various heads for Saturday and Sunday because this chapter is a very important chapter so give more time for this. I have allocated the holidays Saturday and Sunday for this chapter and postponed the revision and the test session for the next Monday. Then in the 12th week we will be studying uh, tax loss 2 chapters, SLCM 2 chapters, EBCL 5 chapters. Then for the 13th week, we will be studying tax loss 1 chapter, EBCL 2 chapters and SLCM 3 chapters. Then for the 14th week, we will be totally studying 9 chapters, 3 chapters in tax loss, EBCL and SLCM 6 chapters. At the end of the week, we will not have the study session since I have uh, shifted the tax loss chapter 9 procedural compliance and chapter 10 assessment appeals and revisions for Saturday and Sunday and we will have the revision session on Monday. Then for the next week, 15th week, we will be studying 3 chapters in tax loss, 1 chapter in EBCL and 3 chapters in SLCM. In this week, we will be studying uh, GST, time, value and place of taxable supply chapters at the Saturday. Give more importance to that because it is an easy scoring part in the tax law. So I have given these chapters at the end of the week that is in Saturday. Then for the next week we will be studying uh, two chapters in tax laws, three to four chapters in EBCL and one chapter, 15th chapter in SLCM. The 15th chapter of SLCM is Structure of Capital Market. We will be studying it for two days because there is two parts, primary market and secondary market. This is part two. Give more importance to these chapters since it covers uh, maximum marks in the examinations. The last two chapters of SLCM is more important. It is an easy scoring part. 
then moving for the 17th week we'll be studying two chapters in tax laws four chapters in slcm and one chapter sorry four chapters in ebcl and one chapter in slcm now going into the 18th week of the timetable we will have three days for revision of ebcl slcm and tax laws after that by october 6 we will be starting to study the combination 3 on this week we will study jigl 2 chapters and fsm 1 chapter in the 19th week we will be studying 5 chapters in jigl and 4 chapters in fsm in this combination i have included some days for revision of cma and tax loss formulas then in the 20th week we will study three chapters in JIGL and three chapters in FSM. Then for the 21st week, we will be studying three chapters in JIGL and two chapters in FSM along with the practical question and answers given in the book questions by Saturday and Sunday. Just give a practice of that. And in the next 22nd week, we will be studying four chapters in JIGL and five chapters, five to six chapters in FSM. Give importance to these chapters from part B of FSM because the part B of FSM is a theoretical part. It comprises of 40 marks for examination. It is an easy scoring part in FSM so be thorough with these theoretical subjects. Then going for the 23rd week we will be studying one chapter Information Technology Act 2000 chapter from JAGL. And then we will have the revision session for FSM and JAGL. Now the timetable has been completed. By November 9, we would have completed all the subjects in CS executive program as per the timetable. We will have a time of 40 days after that for examination. Use those days to give a revision of all the subjects and importantly see through the guideline answers provided in the ICSI website. We will come to know the expectation of ICSI through the guideline answers. Then practice the sums continuously and go through three tests at least with the help of question papers available online. Now let me tell you about the books and other stuffs to study for CS executive examination. First study the book provided by ICSI. Then see for updates available in the ICSI website. Then you can refer to the chartered secretary journal from ICSI website for some general updates. It will help you to have a practical view of what you have studied in the textbook. Then go for student secretary book, guidelines of ICSA as I said earlier and importantly have BAR Act with you. Many websites provide you free BAR Act PDF refer it for your studies. Then practice with scanners but do not rely on the scanners alone. The textbook provided by the ICSA is very very important. Also refer with MCA websites, SEBI websites and RBA websites for updates. Just go through these websites and you will come to know some new things. My main focus will be in the textbook and I recommend everyone to give at least 3 read of the textbook. Because I have noticed several direct questions from the corner of textbook provided by the ICSI in the June 2022 examination. Finally, I would like to tell everyone to have the conceptual clarity, give three reads at least for better understanding, take handwritten notes, separately write the sections with the headings and also formulas for quick revision before exam, give test weekly once at least, recall everything when you are free, don't waste your time, compare your answers with the guidelines of ICSI to make your answers better. Hope this timetable will be useful for all of you. Subscribe to our channel for more such videos. We also have an Instagram and Twitter pages for market and corporate updates. I have provided the link in description. Follow it to stay updated. Learn with Mighty Max.